does not resonate check your moon rising venus and jupiter you guys keep in mind the energies are fluid so it can go vice versa while wow, we have the emperor coming out first um yes don't get hung up on the signs or genders okay please take advantage of your free personal readings down below give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy those personal readings okay um they're free yeah, the first two links, you guys. Actually, there's quite a few down there, but you should really check out the first two links, okay? Definitely do that. Um, honestly, the best personal rating I've ever received in my life. So check it out, okay? Complimentary of the channel. Um, yeah, and then if you're trying to book a reading with me, that's the third link. My social media is on that website as well, okay? For those of you who want to participate in the giveaways, okay, wow, whatever's coming towards you is absolutely positively wish fulfillment, okay? Oh, we got Leo showing up, go figure. Aries and Leo, centered, mirroring, Pisces is here, Aquarius, energy, Taurus, Cancer. Wow, Aries is mirroring Aries. Some of you, um, you are someone's wish fulfillment, okay? I am getting it's an Aries, um, Pisces, Aquarius, Taurus, Cancer, Leo, especially those of you who are dealing with a Leo. I feel like they've been waiting for you for a long time. Um, there's a lot of energy around coming out of the cold, so maybe you've ghosted this person. I feel like there was some sort of separation here due to a third party could have been a cancer or an aquarius pisces um eek, 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 the nine of wands um there you got two nines in your reading okay so you you have ninth house here actually three nines you have ninth ninth house here with the temperance card so sagittarius some of you could be done with the sag but this has to do with someone's spirituality okay also their beliefs okay um especially with pisces showing up here um and things that are hidden with cancer, okay? The moon. But there's a need to stand your ground. And, and, and no matter how much somebody provokes you or pushes you towards something that you are not in agreement with, I feel you need to stand your ground. There is a need to be strategic here, especially those of you who have been ghosted by somebody. They may be being... They may be... be try <laughs> this person might be, be trying to... um Maybe strategic towards you because i feel like there's something about you ghosting them um with the nine of cups like you're their wish fulfillment nine of wands is like enemies may be near so like i feel like there's either a challenge here or some sort of competition um but what is cra what's crazy is i feel like secrets have come out okay so the moon in reverse is like something hidden is now being revealed it's in the position of how someone feels about you they're realizing a lot about you virgo there, there's a lot of research going on as well as what I'm hearing. Um, I know we don't have the page of swords here or pentacles, but there's an energy around research, okay? I am getting that vibe very strongly. Um, oh my goodness. See, okay, wow, 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 okay. <laughs> You got three kings in your reading. I know. I, I don't know why. That's not the first thing I noticed. And you got two queens. Um, This could have to do with same sex for some of you. But others of you, I am just seeing like a battle. And I heard battle of the... um Battle of the fittest. Okay. So like this could be around... um Some sort of tournament. I'm hearing it's a tor tournament, you guys. Um, Or like the, I'm hearing... um. 
This could be you, Virgo. You guys are health. You guys are sixth house. You're health. So maybe you're competing in some sort of like long distance running or something. Wow. I don't know where this is all coming from. It's I'm getting a lot of Olympian vibes. Okay. Like, damn. Go, girl. Or go, boy. Um, congratulations. I am getting your wish fulfillment is coming true. Whatever this is, is coming true here with the Emperor mirroring the Nine of Cups. Look at that. That's double confirmation. Um, if you guys hear a loud noises like trucks driving by. Um, I heard long distance running. I heard marathon. There could be actually something you're participating in regards to swimming for some of you. Oh my god. That is so funny. Okay. I guess swim underwater and not get wet. <laughs> oh. Wow, that's so deep. That's always been one of the deepest lyrics ever. Who is that? Ice Cube? I can swim underwater and not get wet. <laughs> this, whatever this is, it, it, it requires, um, it requires a great deal of skill, okay? And you've you've got the knack for it, okay? And there's a lot of people that are competing, though, I'm getting, with the, the Nine of Wands. Like, it says enemies maybe near, but I don't feel like this is some... I don't feel like this is, like, detrimental to anybody's, like, health or anything because you guys are six house. I'm hearing health. Um, this has to do with health, though. I'm hearing somebody here with it, the, the King of Swords. This could be something around um, the military. So you could be... Boot camp is what I heard, boot camp. Um, someone with a militia background. This could be a long line of um, people who have a militia background in their family, like myself. Both my parents were military. Um, I know. Shout out to all my veterans. I was actually born on the military base, okay? Yes, honey, I was conceived in a damn M16. <laughs> I know. Fun fact: I was I was conceived in a tank. Okay, <laughs> not a fish tank. <laughs> not a fish tank. Um, shout out to all my veterans, you guys. We love you. Um, yes, we love you. You are never you are never over. You're never forgotten. Those of you who have children in the military or um, who didn't make it home, we love you. Okay, um, a lot of sacrifices they've made. For a, I feel like a country that's not even deserving, honestly. I mean, I'm not even going to get into politics or anything like that because I hate politics. But um, this could be a long line of militia background is what I'm hearing. Some Someone here who has a legacy is what I'm also hearing because, you know, the Nine of Cups can lead to the Nine of, um, the Ten of Cups. I'm also getting the Ten of Pentacles here. Um, with the Six of Pentacles energy, marrying the Temperance card, um, there's a lot of energy around um, community, service. This is you, Virg. Virgy Virg, this is you, babe. It's an obstacle position. So um, I feel like you need to take care of yourself, okay? For some of you, you've been doing a lot for others. I'm getting it's a, a lot. You've like been their angels. You've been the angel on earth for a lot of people, okay? And being in the obstacle position here is just telling me that somebody needs to focus on their health, okay? Focus on their own health. Focus on their own um, spirituality as well as what I'm getting, like um, your beliefs. And... Um, in doing so, you, you'll find that it's it's better for the collective. It's better for the people around you because when you get right within yourself, you are able to cope with the energies and individuals around you, um, further assist them as well, you know? So that's what I'm getting for you guys. But there is some sort of secret that's coming out here about somebody. I feel like there's someone here who's been enlight enlightened about you. They could have Leo in their chart, um, Aries, Pisces. There's a lot of people here, you guys. Um, Cancer, Taurus, um, Sag. <clears throat> Strong energy around Taurus, a strong energy around fire. So, um, and Aquarius is here. So, a lot of energy, you guys, around passion as well, because we have a lot of fire. There's someone here who maybe you are at a distance from who looks at you as wish fulfillment, sees you with a sees you with an emotional offer. I feel like this person and you are mirroring, okay? Um They could have offered you something, Virgo. And I feel like at the time it was just not, um, it wasn't viable. It wasn't realistic, maybe. Um, you guys, this could have been during the beginning of the pandemic. And, you know, you didn't know what was going on. 
before the pandemic, you had no idea what was going to happen, right? So you, you guys were unaware that you guys were going to be in lockdown. So you didn't take this chance, whatever this is. But someone here, I feel, is in regret. Okay, for, for a lot of you, I am getting it to fire sign who feels like they should have jumped when they had the chance. They should have leaped when they had the chance. They they feel like sort of left out in the cold by this, okay? But I do see them coming out of feeling left out in the cold. But actually how they're seeing you is someone who's coming out of left out in the cold. Feeling left out in the cold with the five of pentacles. It's in a position of how you're being seen with the king of cups, okay? So very emotional um, energy. And maybe someone here needs to heal is what I'm also getting when it comes to spirituality. We're having the temperance card and the nine of wands marrying here. I feel like someone needs a lot of healing done in... Um, in their ninth house okay now wherever your ninth house is you need to to look at that and um it's not necessarily sag that is sag but it's if, if it's in your chart um you need to look and see where it falls what sign it falls in correlate it to that sign in the house that that sign resonates with okay um like if it falls in i don't know aries then you would look at your first house and that's yourself right that's self that's yourself you need to heal yourself, okay? Depending on where it is, like if it's in the house of partnerships, Libra, this would be um, people around you, all right? Um, salvaging your connections. Um, but I am just getting for a lot of you, though, that there's someone in regret, okay? Um, there, with the five of pentacles and the moon in the center of how someone is feeling and be, how they're being seen is somebody who has been in mourning, okay? Um, they, there's a lot of realization here, too. A lot of secrets, gossip, stuff that they've... Um, They've heard, but they they there was no confirmation that it was true or not. I'm getting that they're finding out it's true, some of it, okay? And it is causing this person to, um, with the, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, it's causing them to sort of, their heart chakra is sort of blocked is what I'm getting. Yeah, like the way she's holding that, it's like her heart chakra is sort of blocked, okay? But this person is doing everything they can to stand in their power so they can come towards you. I feel like they're being very strategic with the Nine of Wands. A lot of you guys feel this person's energy, like maybe you're connected on a soul level, like your twins or something. Um, you connecting in the 5D. There's a lot of synchronicities here with the Nine of Wands, the Nine of Cups, and then Ninth House showing up with the Sagittarius card, Temperance. Um, definitely something around spirituality. Um, I am hearing something around their gifts, your gifts. So this person could be coming towards you with an offer. It's very emotional, you guys. I'm even seeing someone crying while they're asking you this oh my god yeah they're like telling you something um about how things went with you like maybe these were messages that they maybe you guys got things misconstrued or something you know i feel like they're gonna come towards you very passionate too but very emotional because we do have a lot of fire here at the emperor um the king of wands and the queen of wands like there's a lot of passion here you guys um i'm gonna go ahead and read this emperor card to you because you know what that's the energy coming towards you that's the energy you're embodying so it's a really beautiful card to show up in your reading okay um being the first card out so maybe you have aries um in your rising or maybe you have aries in your north node and you know if you're an aries north node i just want to say for a lot of you um especially you being a virgo Virgo Sun, Virgo Rising, or Virgo Venus. I'm sorry, Virgo uh, Mercury. I'm sorry, I don't know why I said Venus. Um, maybe you do have Virgo in your Venus, but um, if you have Aries in your North Node, like I, there's a lot of emphasis on this wish fulfillment. If as long as you're going towards um, whatever path this your North Node is leading you towards um, and standing in your power, I feel like you're going to get whatever this is. And it's going to come to you effortlessly. Once you've crossed some sort of hurdle here, I just keep hearing marathon, someone having to run, okay? So um, I, I want to say this, like those of you who are North Node Aries, um, I myself are North Node Aries, like um, this being the first card out, that's, you know, Tesla was a North Node Aries. Tesla was a North Node Aries, okay? Um, Sean Connery, North Node Aries. Drake, North Node Aries. Um depending on your north node you guys i mean if you have aquarius in your north node pisces in your north node leo you guys read about it learn about who you are learn about your purpose okay but those of you who are in this emperor energy regardless of where your north node placement is i want to say this this is you standing in your power the emperor embodies all four queens i mean kings or queens because you know the roles the roles can be reversed the energy is fluid okay so this could be the empress all right um the empress and the emperor are the only cards the the highest cards in the tarot okay they are the rulers 
all right they are the ceos i mean these people own like franchises all over the world okay and not saying that they're good you know if they like own mcdonald's i'm not saying it's good that they're you know they own this but they're very powerful this this individual is very powerful um this is the energy you're in the energy you're attracting you're attracting someone of a very high standard okay this person has a big big um i'm hearing online presence as well nine of cups energy a lot of love around them this person has um i feel like this is you too like for a lot of you you could be influencers maybe um you're in marketing for some of you i heard marketing um which wouldn't surprise me because you guys are mercurial ruled but um let me go ahead and read the emperor to you, okay? It's mirroring the nine of cups, which is wish fulfillment. Wish, bleh, wish fulfillment. <laughs> so you're basically getting what you want, okay? And you are reaching the status, okay? So a lot of power and authority, okay? Ambition. Um, the emperor rules with the utmost authority and is the father figure of the tarot deck, all right? So um, just like Libra is its opposite, Aries is Libra's opposite, and Libra is also the Empress. And they are the mother and father. Like, Venus is the mother, and Mars is the father. It's so crazy. Anyways, um, yeah, there's a, you guys are balancing. I hear, too, a lot of balancing the energies, stepping into your masculinity, stepping into your femininity. If you're not, if you're on, if you were very one-sided, at one point, I feel like you're, you are balancing the, your yin and your yang, okay? Um, those of you who are feeling pain on your left side, which is the feminine, um, you are healing that wound. If you're feeling pain on your right side, you're, that's the masculine energy. You are healing that. If it's, if there's pain there, it is in, it is in, um, it is in transition. Okay. You understand that? You guys understand what I'm saying? Um, so the emperor showing up and for a lot of you, you know, Virgos, you are very feminine energy. Okay. I would say for the most part, earth signs and water signs are feminine air and water, um, air and fire are masculine. So if you're an earth sign, okay or water sign um you could resonate more with femininity all right and and feel out of place when it comes to masculinity um this is you coming into your it, it's coming into your own okay you are expanding all right in your first house okay this is a lot of you that's what aries is first house so you're you're expanding in your your first house you could even have aries in jupiter all right, which is all about expansion, abundance, growth, right? And that's first house. So um, the emperor also embodies structure, right? Stability. Um, he is complete with decisive action to easily manifest anything he wants, anything he desires, ideas, whatever. It um, It's all in a form of accomplishment and um monetary gain so um also his his guidance too like he's because he's very wise um his guidance and his wise words are based on his worldly experience so this is someone who has a lot of experience this is you okay you're embodying this energy you're attracting this energy um and this is someone who has like a lot of scars too so like they have a lot of wounds they have a lot of scars to prove it so like i was just saying about the feminine energy and the masculine energy like depending on where you feel pain like if you're feeling pain in your spine you could be going through a kundalini awakening and this is to bring the yin and yang together this is to bring the masculine and feminine energy together so they can come into alignment this is about you yourself okay especially if you're on a twin flame journey it's not about you healing your twin it's about you healing yourself so your twin can heal okay those of you who are dealing with twins that's what it is there's a lot of obsession about being together. People, I'm, I'm so tired of seeing it on, on YouTube. Oh, you'll be with your twin and oh, they love you so much. Yeah, they love you. That's a given, okay? But it's about your purpose here. It's about who you are and what you're supposed to be doing on this earth as you are moving forward to raise the vibration of the collective. It's your duty to focus on yourself. It, is, it sounds selfish, but it's not. It's really like, it's like you're doing a service to humanity by being in your, uh, your um, highest vibration. And in doing so, you need to Focus on healing your, your masculine energy and your, your feminine energy, whatever you have. Um, it could have to do with childhood wounds from the mother or the father. Whatever it is that resonates with you, you need to focus on that, okay? A lot of you guys, you have no idea what's coming in. It's so beautiful. You're going to be so happy. I am just hearing, I am seeing tears of joy. If somebody who comes towards you too, like if it's a twin or a counterpart, I feel whatever offer they're making, it'll be very emotionally fulfilled, okay? There's a lot of, like, I feel like you are their wish fulfillment. 
okay i don't get a codependent vibe either because this is someone who may have also been codependent on you virgo or you could have been codependent on them but the ghosting whatever happened was supposed to happen like if you guys are in a runner chaser dynamic that shit was supposed to happen so you can understand that you are an individual and then the codependent the codependency dissipates you understand yeah you have to hurt you have to hurt to heal right um I'm going to just read this to you guys, okay? He reflects, he reflects, okay, your ambitious side where you seek status, success, and recognition. Maintaining your self-discipline, controlling your emotions, and making level-headed decisions will move you forward. The emperor is a strategic thinker and urges you to carry out plans systematically and in, an, in a controlled manner. Embrace your inner warrior, Virgo. Don't be afraid to step into a role of leadership. You are straight up, you are straight up slaying the game and nothing can stop you. Listen to me, whether this is like in love or um, career, you guys have this shit handled. You guys are mercurial ruled. You are um, thinkers. You are analysts. Okay. You are analysts. You are strategic. And it's so funny. It's like, he's, they're saying he's strategic, this, this energy, he or she is very strategic. And then you have the nine of wands showing up. Being strategic is a must because you have enemies near. There are people that are going to want to take your spot. You do have quite a few individuals here. You have a queen um, of wands, a queen of pentacles, a king of wands, and a king of cups, and a king of swords. Um, a lot of a lot of royal and regal energy. So this could be just the overall energy you're embodying, or these are the people that are you're surrounded by, which means it's actually a good thing because you have people that are like-minded that are coming into union with you. So you could be seeing 222 quite a bit with the synchronicities here showing up. 999, all right? Um, 999 is the, nine is the highest you can go. Okay, there is no number 10. Okay, it just starts over. Number one, two, three. All right, there is no number 10 because zero is nothing, right? Zero is nothing. It is something. It is the God force. It is the God energy, but um, it starts over, okay? In numerology, it just starts over. So the number nine is the highest you can go. And you having the number nine showing up here three times, which is another freaking, uh, no, the number three is like, yeah, you know, Tesla. Like I was saying, <laughs> that is the key to the universe. Three, six, nine are the keys to the universe. The numbers that hold the key to the universe. Like you guys are very analytical. You're going to get whatever you want because you're very strategic. And if you have people around you who are either stopping you or, uh, or not stopping you because they can't stop you. I mean, this is faded. This is, this is inevitable. This is your birthright. A lot of you guys, um, this could be also what's coming out too, like as something that was hidden. Um, you could be finding out about your gifts that were dormant. People are finding out about this. It has some people in a low vibration. Okay. There is a little bit of jealousy here. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Um, it's kind of a mean girl energy. It's in the position of how someone feels about you along with the, the moon in reverse. Okay. So you coming into your own, it's going to, it's going to turn heads. Okay, it's gonna turn it's gonna turn demons and it's gonna turn freaking angels and people are gonna be proud of you and people are not gonna be proud of you. They're gonna be hateful and they're gonna be, you know, it's just it just comes with the terror. It comes with the territory, all right? New level, new devil. Um, I know the devil's not here, but this wish fulfillment can attract a lot of hatred. Okay, and you know with the nine of wands showing up, strategic, be strategic. Um, enemies may be near. It's it's kind of like I don't know. If you look at the wands, all the wands that are in the background here. Damn, I don't have my wand. <laughs> Speaking of wand, where's my wand? <laughs> I can have my wand. Um, if you look, like, there's tons of wands in the background there. Um, and she has her own wand, okay? And this wand has been getting her through, he or she, has been getting her through all of her obstacles effortlessly. And now someone has put up all these barriers here um, as a distraction, as a trap. And, you know, the King of Swords, he's very analytical as well. He's um, he's very um, ruled by the mind, not the heart. Air signs are typically ruled by the mind, okay? Um, I would say Libra has an advantage because Libra is ruled by Venus, and that's love, right? But being an air sign, they can do both. They are, there's an energy of balance there. And it's funny because they're actually the scales, right? But this is Aquarius, and Aquarius is Uranus, which is all about rebellion, right? And then this, this Knight of Wands... Um, yeah, being strategic. This is someone who's not going to let it. this. You're not going to back down. That's the energy. You're not backing down. You could have Aquarius in your North Node. Shout out to all my Aquarian North Nodes. Okay. Age of Aquarius. We are in that. We are in the age of Aquarius, sweetie. Some might argue Pisces, but we are in the age of Aquarius. Okay. 
All right, let me pull one of these beautiful Power of Love cards for you. I haven't pulled this deck out in a minute. Hello, beautiful. I missed you. All right, we got past. Woo, woo, healing, you guys. Woo. A lot of energy around healing wounds, okay? Through the power of love, you release any stagnant situations or energy in order to transform your heart space. So unlocking that heart chakra is going to be really important for a lot of you guys, especially with the Nine of Cups showing up. If you look, it's a heart. It's, and the cups are all about love. Unblocking it so your abundance can come in. And be aware, you guys, are you are deserving. You are deserving. I know some, you know, Virgos can be very overcritical of themselves. And baby, you don't need to be, honey. You beautiful. You smart, girl. You so smart. You so smart. Okay. You smart girl. You smart boy. Um, don't let them tell you know, don't let people make you feel inferior about what it is you do know and what you don't know. Because we all compliment each other in some form or fashion, right? All right, we have affirmation. I would have pulled another one from our self-care deck just because I was being called to, to pull one because you guys are six house, all right? So um, it says self-love is an ocean and your heart is a vessel. Make it full and any excess will spill over into the lives of the people you hold dear. I'm about to start crying, but you must come first, Virgo. You must come first. These cards are not lying today, baby. They be coming out and they be speaking the truth. Aries is the first sign. Listen to me. You must come first, honey. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let me just like, oh, my God. Ooh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Whenever my spirit guides are on fire, so am I. <laughs> oh, now I just heard that song by Usher. You got it. You got it, bad. When you uh -huh, hang up and you call right back, you got it, you got it bad. When you listen, listen on the da 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 da. No, you got it bad when you're out with someone you don't wanna have fun. That all you think about. Somebody misses you, Virgo. Damn. But they're focused on themselves. I feel like you both miss each other. You're very focused on yourself. You know that if you are in alignment with who you are, you can be the best version of yourself for not just yourself, but others. And that's what this is about. Loving yourself. Recite these words in your heart, Virgo. I am worthy of all the good things in my life. This card actually says that. And what did I just say? I don't make this stuff up. It comes from my heart, baby. It comes from intuition. And my cards, you see me shuffling them. You see me. You see me. Don't act like you don't. Don't act like you don't see me out here. All right? I don't lie to you guys. And my cards don't lie to me. So, there ain't no liars up in here. <laughs> There's some lions. Because <laughs> we got Leo here. But there ain't no liars. All right? We love you. Okay? I recite these words in your heart. I am. Keywords. I am. Aries is I am. Worthy of all good things in my life. Every time you start with the sentence, you start your sentence with the words, I am, you are moting it into existence. So speak positively of yourself. Do not speak ill of yourself, Virgo. You guys are, you guys can be very critical of yourselves, to be honest. Yeah. Don't, don't be mad at me. Don't be mad at me for telling you the truth. You can be. And you know what? And you have the right to be that way. That is your, it's your superpower, but it's also your 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 kryptonite it's your it's you know you know analyst i mean paralysis by analysis you can overthink things if you are in a low vibration worried about too much of what other people think you know that could be bad for you okay we're gonna get one love message we're gonna get some messages from somebody here who may want to speak to you because of that song coming out oh this is so this person look at this Life would feel empty without you by my side. I'm going to get one more. I wish I had treated you better. Okay, for those of you who are dealing with somebody. Oh my gosh. All right, and we got one more. You challenge me in ways that make me grow. Do you inspire this person? Do you inspire them, Virg? They're in their shadow energy. This person is still... Um, this person is in a very um, self-loathing state, but they're getting out of it, okay? I destroyed your confidence in me. So maybe they said something that was 
detrimental to the connection, okay? Maybe they said something that maybe they took 10 steps back. I can never find the right words to say to you. This person has a, a way with words, man. Like, they may say something that they don't mean a certain way, and you might take it another way, you guys. And I, it doesn't surprise me, you know? Mercury rule. You guys are the planet who thinks, the planet who communicates. So, um... Communication is very important when it comes to you and this individual. I feel like um, for some of you, maybe even ghosted this person just so things don't get fucked up. <laughs> I'm hearing like somebody got ghosted though, like because someone was afraid to, to make things. Someone didn't want to go far down the rabbit hole or something. I don't know. I'm hearing somebody didn't want to ruin things before they started them. I don't know why I'm hearing that, but um, that could mean something to somebody. I don't know. They just told me to say that. I don't, you know how some people protect you from your them? Some people might protect you from them. You know, protect you by leaving you. And I know it's so fucking stupid and childish in some form. But you might actually feel like they hurt you. But in a way, they are just saving you from them. So I don't know. Maybe some of you may have ghosted somebody and you're protecting them from your, from your pain. Or maybe you were going through some mourning. Maybe you're mourning. I don't know. Or they're mourning. And they wanted to protect you from their negative energy. Yeah. Makes sense, right? Especially if someone does that. I know. As somebody who goes and tries to go fix themselves in order to be the best version of themselves, that's love. When they want to be the best version of themselves to come towards you, that's true love, you guys. I, I, I'm just going to keep it real. Some people don't see it that way. They could be very childish and... Very um controlling and demanding, I want to say even, you know, possessive, that they don't care about that. They might not care if you better yourself, but um, I feel for a lot of you, you are in mutual agreement with this individual. You both agree on one thing. You both feel like you need to be at your best versions of yourself in order to make this connection work. Whether this is in the 5D or the 3D, I feel like there's a strong connection here with you and someone else. Yeah. I love you guys. Um, take advantage of your free personal readings down below. They are the first two links. I hope you guys enjoy them. If you do, please let me know. And if you've already checked them out, yes, comment below. Let me know how you guys enjoy those. I really appreciate all the feedback. It does help the channel grow. It helps the channel. It helps me. It helps my babies, my children. So you guys, um, I really appreciate it so much for the love. And you can check out all my social media over there in the about section. Add a book with me how to follow on social media, participate in giveaways, all that good stuff we will be doing for Christmas this year. Like we, I did it last year um, and for my birthday. So I want to keep doing that. And you guys, I need more people to come so I could, you know, keep doing it. Keep, keep the good deeds going. All right. I love you guys so much. You guys have a wonderful week. 